guys what's going on and welcome to day 4 of 22 days of lipstick and for today's video I am going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the Swiss Beauty 12 hours stay matte lip crayons now I have picked out eight shades so as always check out the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference I'm NC40 in Mac now before we can get into the lip swatch the pros the cons the formula and all the good stuff do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to not forget whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video Okay, so first let's talk about the features of this lip crayon. Now it says that it's a super long lasting intense color payoff with highly pigmented formula. Dress up your lips with shades of rich color, soft texture and silky matte finish which feels super comfortable on your lips because of its lightweight formula. Now this product it is cruelty free and it's made in Taiwan and it is priced at 299 rupees. They offer about uh, 24 shades and there is about 3 grams of product. So this is how the lip crayon looks like. Uh, the cap and the bottom is color coordinated. It actually looks quite similar to the uh, Nika and the Sugar Lip Crayon. The only difference is the cap of this one is colored, wherein for the Nika and the Sugar one it is black. You have the shade name and number mentioned right here. And this is the actual lip crayon. And now let's move on to the lip swatches.
Okay, so let's talk about the formula of these lip crayons. And now firstly, these are extremely light and thin. At the same time, it is super pigmented, which I was not expecting at all. Because with one layer, you will get full opacity, no matter the shade is a red or maroon or a berry color or even a nude color one swipe one layer and you will get the full opacity now initially as soon as you apply it it is quite creamy however it does dry down to a matte finish and it takes about like 30 seconds to one minute for it to dry down and once it does it is quite transfer proof like for example like clean hands there is zero transfer and the lipstick is in its place now these are quite comfortable and very lightweight like it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything on your lips like I have tried other lip crayons you can feel the creaminess of the lipstick or the lip crayons but then in this one you do not feel like you're wearing anything at all. Now these do last for quite a long time until you eat anything heavy or oily and uh, this is how it looks once you have a pretty heavy meal. I had my lunch and this is how it looks like. Now for removal, you can use the wet wipes, it will come off, but then there's a lot of tugging and pulling. I would highly suggest to remove this like micellar water or an oil-based micellar water will do the job. Okay, now there are some FYIs because I do not put them in cons, but then it because it depends from person to person and it's subjective. And the first thing is there is no smell, which is actually a good thing. You know what, I'll put that for pro. So there is no smell, there's no fragrance at all in these lip crayons. And now for the actual FII, uh, the pink colors, the, they kind of stain your lips. Now personally, I do not have an issue if my lips do get stained. Now the next point is that these are not a retractable type of lip crayon. Now the last point is that it is a little bit uh, on the drier side. It's like if you're used to a matte liquid lipstick, you wouldn't mind this at all. But if you usually prefer like, you know, creamy, that kind of lipstick, you may not like this one because it is a proper matte finish and uh, it could be a bit drying oh the solution to that is you can use a lip balm underneath but that will affect the longevity of these lip crayons so yeah just FII is done okay now coming to the cons there are two points the first one is that uh, these are really creamy that it could easily break now what happened today is I took these lip crayons to go and swatch them in natural lighting and I go to my hall where there is no AC and I was sweating like crazy because I live in Chennai. So it was really hot and humid and it became so creamy that one of the lip crayons it actually almost was um it was almost like sinking <laughs> it was literally sinking while i was applying it i don't know what is happening underneath or inside no idea but while i was applying i can feel it go chotu and chotu so that happened uh, and the other one just broke on me like i did not apply with the full pressure or anything i just applied normally and it kind of broke and this is how it looks like uh, I did sharpen it obviously but I did not expect that a brand spanking new lip crayon actually just broke after applying it for the second time. So I would highly suggest if you are buying it and if you live in a kind of a hot and humid place do store it like in a cupboard, shelf, vanity, somewhere away from the hot and humid room or climate or whatever. So yeah, I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> Okay, coming to the last and final con, it is to do with the expiry date. Now, on the packaging, it says that the shelf life is three months once it is used. However, on the lip crayon itself, the expiry date is mentioned as 2024, that is April 2024. So I honestly do not know which one to believe. Uh, if it is three months, it is a con for me. If it's 2024, then it is fine, I guess. I don't think I will even be able to use one lip crayon within three months. Now, I forgot to mention one pro, that is the pricing of 299 rupees for three grams of product, which I find it to be super reasonable. And even the quantity is quite high because in the market, uh, for example, the Nika lip crayon, that is priced at 699 rupees for 2.8 grams of product and even the sugar uh, lip crayon that is 799 rupees for 2.8 grams of product and the last one which is the k beauty one uh, for that one it is 1.8 grams of product for 799 rupees so when you compare to those lip crayons this is extremely reasonable for the quantity that you get Oh, another thing which is like FII but is borderline a con uh, is the cap because the cap for these lip crayons, they are a bit springy. Like, do you see the way how it is? Uh, if you do not close it very tightly, 
this will open up if you keep it in your bag or something and it will mess up your whole handbag or purse or whatever so yeah just letting you guys know on that so yeah these were my thoughts about the swiss beauties 12 hours stay matte lip crayons and this wraps up today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you can whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's chanel on instagram and it's chanel on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye